How are you enjoying the con so far? Oh, it's so cool to come back because it's not so scary the third time around. <laughs> For sure, when we have actual fans that like us versus, you know, talking about some show that hasn't come out yet. It's you know, nice. It's funny you should say that because as reporters, that's, it's the same thing. It's kind of awkward when the show's just started or there's like been a pilot episode. Yeah. Like, what do we talk about? Right, what yeah. But you're yes. right, since it's been on for a couple of years now, um, you get a lot of a lot of action. Absolutely. Specifically as a character. Are you are you finding that more than you bargained for when you took the role or is it what you were looking no, for? No, this is what I was really wanting. Absolutely. Uh yeah, Octavia's character transformation has been so dramatic. I feel like she's not even the same woman she was when she stepped on Earth to, you know, the warrior she's become in season two. Um, I've had a lot of fun learning how to fight train and doing all my own stunts, and it's so much fun to, you know, to be a real life action, you know, super woman. <laughs> yeah. With those bruises, you're like, yeah. Yeah, with the bru- I'm always thing. covered in them, yeah. Oh my, there you go. She yeah, she finally got a horse. I've been horse training this week, so that's where that's, those come from. Yeah. That is very cool. So we know Octavia and uh, Lincoln still have a future together. We hope. All things are. Um, is, that, is that something you're looking forward to? I'm over the romance thing, you know. Uh, they've... <laughs> They've made such immense sacrifices for one another that I feel like that can't really be compromised. Um, You know, that classic Romeo and Juliet romance, and it was Lincoln that showed Octavia who the tree crew was, and that's where she found out who she really is and found her place on Earth. So they have a really special relationship together. Well, she's she's saved him, too, though. I mean, literally and figuratively. Um, he's, he's clearly a different fan since so then. Um, now, we've been teased that there will be some backstory into what happened to Earth, you know, like how it became what it is. How do you think Octavia will um, react to that, that information? Or do they already know? Or do you guys know? Is I mean, I don't think Octavia got tipped off to much growing up under the floor. Okay. Um, so, yeah, she was kind of... A, a window was exciting. Right? Yeah, the window, that was like the most exciting moment of her life. She had three seconds in that dance before it was all over. Uh, yeah, I mean, I always love the flashbacks and the backstory because it really helps you understand where we all came from and answers uh, a lot of audience questions, too. Helps you get informed, too, where the character is going to go. Yeah, absolutely, because they never tell us anything, so it's good to know. <laughs> do, you, do you like not knowing where you're going with the character? Absolutely, because then you can't anticipate anything and and uh, it's always amazing what the writers come up with uh, there's so many storylines going on simultaneously at the same time it's crazy yeah ah the best for me as an actor the sets are just so amazing uh you know, to feel like it, it, that we're actually in a tribal sort of situation with the torches and the costumes, and it's just, it really helps you get into character and really feel like you're a part of that world, absolutely. The rain helps, too, when you're drenched <laughs> and uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I've had so much fun um, learning how to master the sword and do all my own stunts. I'm pretty stubborn about it. I like to do everything myself. Um, and it's been a blast. And yeah, he finally gave me a horse, so I get to giddy up around uh, Camp Jaha on that thing. It's going to be a blast this season. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>